Yo, what is up guys? Boris here coming to you guys with a Neko Mamushi team guide. This guy was just released and he's already given the number two rating on game with. Now whether you agree with that or not is up to you, but he is very, very powerful. And let me go ahead and explain to you why. First thing that you need to know is that he boosts HP by 1.2 times. So that is really, really nice. Or 1.25, I'm sorry, 1.25. Uh, so that's a really nice boost of HP combined with the Aokiji bike. That's a lot of HP you're going to have. Second, boost the attack by 3.75 of Strikers. So 3.75 if they have a colored orb or a rainbow orb. Okay. So you need to have colored orbs on your characters. That means no meat, no tandem, no bomb, no uh, bother orbs, nothing like that stuff. So you need colored orbs. Red, blue, green, yellow. You know, blue or whatever, red, whatever I missed. Um, on top of that, his special is 60 times the damage, which is nice, and also makes all the colored orbs, strength, dex, quick, sight, int, beneficial for strikers. So, as long as you have a colored orb, you're gonna have a matching orb when you use a special. Really awesome. Now, the reason I'm doing so much damage here is for a few reasons. First off, we have an orb booster and a type booster, orb booster and squad, type booster and Fukuboshi 1.75. 1.75 then what we've done here yes rainbow rainbow does count yes um, next thing we have here is mock vice this character on the bottom left is the Colosseum mock vice if you have not farmed him yet I don't know if he'll be still be around after today uh, hopefully he is because he's really really good locks the chain at 2.75 if your captain is a striker captain so that's really insane also reduces bind and despair by five turns that guy's... I'm sorry, that's Conjuro. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, that's Conjuro. <laughs> my bad, my bad. That's Conjuro. Um, he's OP. And I think I pulled him, so I'm actually pretty happy. I think he's, I think I pulled everyone except for Carrot, so that's really good. Um, but Carrot I don't need because I have Caribou. Now, also, his Sailor Effect makes it so uh, Dex orbs are beneficial for Strikers. Okay. Uh, now, Mock Vice... Sorry, the reason Mog Vice is good is because he is a color affinity booster for strikers, so he's a must-have for striker teams for certain bosses. Um, right now, I have it set up so it's a powerhouse against purple units. But if you you want to fight like um, you want better damage against Int, uh, then you can do this. This should be um, pretty good too. Although you don't get the stall from Fukuboshi, but Smoker and Aokiji. I mean, you're dealing almost eight million to three different classes. This is pretty OP. Um, so you could do that. Um, you know, just play around with it, mess around, see what kind of characters you want to use on that team. Um, of course, if you want an HP cutter, you could always throw in Whitebeard. Um, if that's something that you're more interested in. Let's say you don't, you're not worried about color affinity, then you could throw in Whitebeard. Um, you know, just just for some uh, orb shuffling and you know, get that special going, 30% HP cut. Look at this damage. This damage is insane. Now, you are not guaranteed 100% matching orbs with this team. is the only problem. However, the striker... I mean, the yeah, the Aokiji bike lowers the chance of food orbs. And tandem orbs, I believe, have a less chance of showing up than all the other orbs. So, with that combined, there's a good chance you're going to get matching orbs every... Or, colored orbs every single turn. Um, so, this is a pretty consistent team. The only problem is if you're facing off against, uh, you know, people who sort of shuffle your orbs or give you meat orbs or tandem orbs. Um, then, of course, you can run other things. One suggestion is running Conjuro from Colosseum instead of the Rariku Conjuro. Colosseum Conjuro, what he does, if you guys don't know, is that he will actually change all non-colored orbs to badly matching orbs. And then change colored orbs into matching orbs for striker units and free spirit so he's very good will guarantee you get all matching orbs except for bother orbs he does not get rid of bother orbs i don't believe um, but for everything else he'll get matching orbs when you combine them with nekamamushi so that's really good now switch back to the old uh, switch back to the other um this one here and um let's try out a combo that we showed off in the last video which is kid and now again, this is a combo that most of you guys won't have. Kid plus Don Shinja. Most people did not have that kid. Uh, because he was an exclusive unit. So let's put our HP below 30. 
Um, and now you're looking at a lot more damage. This kid is a two times uh, striker booster, and, uh, and but it puts you below 80% HP, and then Dawn Chin Jao will give you a 1.75 orb boost, but it's, it's for, I believe, two turns, not too bad. Um, so you have two turns right there, potentially a boost. And um, you do that. Of course, yeah, if you do have Shirahoshi, guys, um, and that's something you're interested in, then you could put Shirahoshi on the team as well. This is pretty much looking just like the NL team. But yeah, this will um, heal you back up to full after you do that. And then on top of that, um, give you a rainbow orbs, which will automatically give you all matching orbs. So that's another possibility you could do. Um, with 40k HP, you know, healing is really nice, especially if you throw in some cotton candy in there, for sure. And I don't know if the new Legend Law is in uh, the database yet, because he's not technically confirmed yet for... Um, but looks like he is. So he is a 2.25 orb booster, it looks like, for strikers. Is that true? Or is that a mistranslation? I'm not too sure. I'm, I'm not too... I don't want to put him in here yet, just because I believe he might be a mistranslation. But it looks like he's a 2.25 orb boost, I believe. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see about that. But he is not out yet. He's only out on Korea version. So we're gonna have to leave it like that for now. If you if he comes out, look at that, 10 million damage, easy without cutting candy. So yeah, he that's a little bit too broken for me. 300,000 fixed damage to one enemy and 2.25 orb boost. So that's pretty OP, and we don't have to be below. So now someone wants me to try out um, a different team here. So it's pretty much the same team we had early on. So we have Fukuboshi. Gonna put him, Veracruz Conjuro, and he wanted Icaros. So Veracruz Icaros. So Icaros reduces current HP by 50%, amplifies effective orders by 1.5, and boost against the late enemies. Oh wow, that actually is amazing. Icaros is a conditional booster with a with a type boost as well combined into it. And if you don't know, Fukuboshi actually does delay for one turn. So if you can delay the enemy, you're looking at a lot of damage here. A lot of damage. Look at that. 18... No, that can't be. 18 million? That cannot be right. That cannot be right. I have to... Something has to be wrong. 18 million? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I mean, it is a 1.5 boost. Wow. Wow. That's insane. So you're looking at 18 million. Uh, something has to be wrong here. Um, and e e against the blue, it's 10 million, you know, it's pretty good. Yeah. So, I mean, hey man, if you're looking to, for who, I don't know if you can do more damage than that. I mean, this is before Cotton Candy. So, Ikaros, very powerful. I think the reason this works is because these are all powerhouse units. Yeah, these are all powerhouse, except for Mach, actually it's for the bottom two. The top two are, the top two are powerhouse units. So unfortunately, this only boosts powerhouse units, but because we have the color affinity, it does end up doing a lot more. That's pretty interesting. Okay, yeah, it is OP, yeah. That's insane. <laughs> it's pretty insane. So, with I said, guys, I've showed you guys a lot of possibilities. When the new law comes out, definitely consider running him as a captain if you end up getting him. I believe the law is confirmed to come out on JP soon enough. For you guys who don't know, the new law's captain ability is boost strikers by three times and heals 0.5 his recovery at the end of every turn. Um, so you're gonna, uh, every, turn you feed up, every time you hit a perfect, sorry. So you're gonna end up healing a lot of da a lot of damage every single turn. Uh, and you can run Nekomamushi as a sub on that team. Um, or you can run Nekomamushi, you know, and him as a sub. So there's a lot of possibilities out there, guys, and hopefully um, you guys are looking forward to that. So, Colosseum Ikaros is better. All right, we can check Colosseum Ikaros real quick before we end here then. Um, let me... Where's Nekomamushi at? There he is, okay. Let's see what Colosseum Ikaros does. I think it's the purple one. And let me change all orbs, including block orbs, into... Okay, so it's pretty much like that Rarecruit, uh, let's see, like Colosseum Conjuro. Okay, he's actually better than Rare, uh, Colosseum Conjuro, you are right. Because he actually includes block orbs as well. So yeah, that is actually is better than if you're if you're planning on if you want 100% confirmed orbs, then you can run him. Definitely. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. 
talk to you guys uh, in the next video and until then peace